I have a word that I want to share with you that I know is just going to bless you. The other week, I saw a vision, and I saw the word roast written. And I asked the Lord, what is this? Suddenly, the verse, Proverbs 27, verse 12, came to my spirit. So I will share on that. Proverbs 12, verse 27. And this week, I think it was Friday, I saw another vision. And this vision was not long. Uh, I saw like I could see a hand and the other hand. Then the Lord started talking to me. He said, uh, he can be say who's a figure on the other side. He said, "You are walking in uncharted territories." Lauhamba kona augagaze uhambe. Then he said, "Vuma ngibamba ngesandla." See, there's a song that we sing here at church. Ungi bamba ngesandla. Ne? That song, yeah, yes. Ungi bamba ngesandla. So the Lord will not bamba ngesandla till we reach to the other side. Kunelini verse eighteen. As long as he sought the Lord, the Lord made him prosper. As long as he sought the Lord, kure hanta rebata mudimu, mudimu tareta hand. As we seek the Lord, see victory will come in our lives as we seek the Lord. As we seek the Lord, we are going to gain ground. As we walk with the Lord, we are going to be victorious. As we seek the Lord, we are going to see many results. So it was almost like the Lord says, and to the other side. Amen. So more than anything, um, remember we said the month of March is the month of the anointing. So we have to seek the Lord. In prayer, in worship, seek the Lord. Then the Lord is going to bring us to the other side. Whatever it is that we need from the Lord is not going to come to us in ways that we think it will come. But it's going to take us to walk with the Lord for us to experience those things. Peter toiled the whole night. Peter didn't catch even a single fish. Jesus said, lower your net. And when he lowered his net, Peter caught so much fish that his net began to break. So, and follow the leading of the spirit. We are going to gain ground. Things, they happen in the spirit before they happen in the natural. Friday in our morning devotion, I was sharing, saying, Jesus abona a fig tree and he wanted something to eat. And he cast it because when he got there, there was nothing. The following day when they came, they found it had withered from its roots. He spoke the day before. Nothing happened that day. The following day, it had withered from its root. Your tomorrow is being made today. By words you speak. By prayers you make. Prayers precede your tomorrow. Prayers shape your tomorrow. They put a frame. You know when you have a picture and you have a frame and it looks nice. So they frame your world. We sing a song and say, frame your world, child of God, by what you say. Say what you desire. Jesus said, no man, no man must eat from this tree. And then it withered away. Your yesterday was fixed. Your, your, your today was fixed yesterday. And your tomorrow is being fixed today. You don't like your today? Watch what you said yesterday. Did you pray yesterday? I don't mean literally yesterday. I mean in days past, in week past. We must talk to God and not talk about our problems. Some of us, we just post our problems on social media. Everyone knows your problems. But you never tell God your problems. Give it to Jesus. Amen? Amen? So I saw a hand holding another hand. Then I, 
I understood. This other hand, kill it all over the world. Then, lele ning let it all kill her. So, ungulungulu funu kubamba ni sand. Agohone, uzo figele to the other side. Amen. Akira nene. Hakira pela, kihumama. Kihura pela, kiali utwa. Let's all Ntate, ntate, kia hura kia li utwa, litso Amen. Haki rape la kia li utwa litso. Prayer changes things. It changes things. Let me go on. It changes things. Some say prayer changes things. things. So I'm coming back to Proverbs Proverbs 27, verse 12. Before I, 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 I go there. Okay, let's just start. Proverbs 12, verse 27. So it says, a slothful man. Now, Sunday morning, so while they were hunting, they never roasted. Salating zoe roaster, nzoe pega. Till someone comes to steal their nyamazani. So, be careful ukuthi ngalokhu procrastinate. Ngalokhu postpone ukuthi into it is as I yenzeka nini. Do it now. Tell your neighbor do it now. You have no assurance of tomorrow. Do it now. People who make it in life sometimes they are not highly gifted, highly intelligent are people who just do things now. They do it now while they have the strength. Are you aware you may not have the strength you have like today? Tomorrow may not be like to, uh, today. I used to have a lecture um, Mangfunde Pretoria. This lecture was teaching mathematics. So, he, he came from Zimbabwe. His name was Ntsugu Gasfale. <laughs> so, I want to borrow his name, Ntsugu Gasfale. So, today you have strength, tomorrow you don't have strength. Ntsugu Gasfale. So use today effectively. So then I saw the same scripture in the TPT. TPT is tender pendergrass, teddy pendergrass, teddy pendergrass, TPT. No, I'm kidding. It's called the, tra- the Passions Translation. So it is a passive man, passive man, won't even complete a project but a passionate person makes good of his time, wealth, and energy. A passionate person. So, a what? A passive person. A passive person is like, I will do it, or it will happen if it happens. Sometimes, sometimes, it's not an issue, you are cursed. It's an issue, you are always passive. You are always, is a my brother, you will pray unless you step out and you be bold and you, you go to that uh, lady. You must just step out. Yeah. Now, is within your reach. But you don't roast. I hope you're not going to the, the, the things you were saying last week. <laughs> roast what you have caught. So maximize. Don't play games. Once you have an opportunity, go for it. Go for it. Be diligent. As you go for that interview, prepare yourself. Pre- prepare yourself and be ready. Amen? Yeah, be prepared. Roast. 
Why does it take you a lifetime to learn what can change your life? This thing's supposed to change your life, but it's taking you too long for you to learn. Learn it quick so that you go forward. The things that we must learn, we must learn them very quick. Let me say it again. Ask your neighbor. What is it that you're supposed to learn that you haven't learned that's supposed to change your life? It's too long, but say it. If you still remember what I said. Sometimes you need to learn a skill that can change your life. You, you, you need to have a skill that can change your life. Skill you don't receive by I can't come Guzaza and say receive to drive. drive. No, you learn how to drive. It's in the other room. You have to learn certain things. Somebody say amen. amen. Let's move quickly. It says a passionate person makes good of their time, wealth, and energy. Make use of time very effectively. As Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. Umshumayeli 3 verse 1. Uti, to every purpose and to every season under the sun, there is, or there is time. There is time to every purpose. There's time to every purpose. You are not a champion of all generations. If you don't do certain things at a certain time, even if you do the right thing at the wrong time, it's misplaced. Amen? There's a time, verse 2, to, bo- to be born and a time to die. A time to plant, a time to pluck up, which was planted. Verse 3, a time to kill, a time to heal. A time to break down, a time to build up. In your life, this time, it's a time for you to prosper. It's a time for you to finish. And it's a time for you to go higher and higher. Higher and higher. You remember that song? Higher than higher. All right, I'm revealing. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. So the, 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 the person's translation, you must use time. Some say time. It says you must use wealth. Some say wealth. So we are talking about wealth a bit. Deuteronomy 8. Verse number 12, verse number 18. Deuteronomy 8, verse number 18. Thou will remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth. Underline power to get wealth. It takes power to, to be wealthy. Wealthy doesn't mean a millionaire only. Because you can have millions and not enjoy your millions. We must pray not only to have money, we must enjoy the money. We must have the health to enjoy the money. You know, sometimes you have the health, but you don't have the money. Now you have the money, you don't have the health. So we pray to have the health and the money. Don't act like you don't want the money. Why are you waking up every morning and going to work if you don't want the money? Amen. Half of your problems can go away. If you have the money. <laughs> That's why some people worship money even if they don't have money. They just like money. That's why Bibleity don't love money. It's the root of all evil. Because we know what money can do for us. Amen. But yeah, it takes the Bible to tell us not to love money because naturally we want we love money. Come on, somebody. So God gives you power to get wealth. Why? To establish his covenant that he swear with our Fathers unto this day. So, covenant, what God wants to do to propagate the gospel, it takes wealth. Because if we had time, we would read Acts 3, where it says, or yeah, 3, 4, 5, where it says, they put money at the foot of the apostles for the apostles to be able to spread the gospel. Power to get wealth. He'll give you ideas. Because ideas, they give you wealth. You see, if you want to create wealth, you have to know how to solve a problem. So the question is, whose problem are you solving in life? Because whatever business you are trying to do or you are doing, and it's solving no one's problem, 
you are on your way to be poor. You must ask yourself, whose problem am I solving? And if you are, your way of solving problem, it's, it's a small way, then you're not going to have a, a lot of opportunities. When you choose what course to study at school, don't just choose what everyone is doing. And don't just, don't just choose some obscure course because uh, some, some institution is offering it, even if it could be a prestigious university. Because there are some courses they are just doing it to, to make money. You have to see, is this thing in demand? Is this thing solving a problem? In the next 10 years, will it be still solving a problem? Or is it a redundant course? Because they lock their mind. They don't want to think. Amen. 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 To the Lord. Somebody say amen. amen. What is it that can change your life that you are not learning? So, whose problem are you solving? Let to a gala. He solve the problem, Gabbai. Lend to a poster. You are born a poster, but whose problem are you solving? Because sometimes, you post a If you post a lawena, it's fine. But if you want to touch lives, ask yourself, whose problem am I solving? Whose problem am I solving? Yes. Somebody say amen. amen. Some people, they decide. <laughs> Only when you reach, when you retire or when you, <laughs> when you say, no more, you haven't even retired as in old age. But you just, maybe you, are, you get tired of being told what to do at work. Then you decide, I'm going to start my business. But there's no skill that you have learned to make money. And you're going to make yourself poor because you are, you are going to start business out of being a rebel, not out of a skill that you have acquired. So you have to learn certain things. Because when you run a business, you can't run it by, by rebellion. Because yeah. Yeah. once so pure it too, but the answer, it's not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same. You can gather a group of people and we all rebel. But when it comes to time, what do we must do? It's another story. Somebody say amen. amen. So God gives us power to get well. He gives us ideas. He gives us creativity. If they are not going to employ you in the next 10 years, then what's going to happen with your life? Somebody here in the church told me a story of their mom who, who, who doesn't come to our church. And this woman could make amakwini Fat cake and Zamakuin. Then began Zamakunya because began a sedins. Someone in their church came to her and said, Ume rapelang, Ume walintu, Uruti salintu, very deep. There's no way Hutu Mamutanda Zanjangal, Melahamba Logatin Zamakuin is threatened. Question is Uzumupale Male. Amen. He gives us power to get well. Some say power. power. Whatever gift God has given you, not only <laughs> and then we were just talking. Among the things that he was saying was you need mastery. I've taught this to the church. You need to be good at what you are doing. That Ube like the rare species. Ube in demand because you've perfected what you are good at. Don't think like who's good in something. Other people are as equally good with what you It's no longer a new thing when you have a degree. It's no longer a new thing when you have a diploma. There was a time when you, if you have a degree, 
wonke lokhu shini bebakhuluma ngakuthi ifundiswa lapha it's no longer it's, it's just it's another thing in in the world when you have a degree njoba ngishumela la i alright ari tsora but glory to it's no longer a thing what what, what? amen you need mastery whatever skill you have you have to perfect and uh, you see there comes a time in your life especially in your 20s Early, early, uh, then in your early 30s, you, it's almost like you can just be changing from one company to the other. Then it's, you are moving because you can get a bigger salary, but not perfect something. And not learn a skill that in years to come, you, have, you master something. You, ma- you master something that is going to work for you. Somebody say amen. The game of tennis. It was just, you know, average. Then came other people who took it to another level by mastery, by perfecting their skill. You know? Yeah? When their, their Ipek swing yabo was as powerful as Ilokuza, front, they were, they, were, they, were, they were doing great things. See, when you watch people like Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, you can see this person, man. They've mastered this thing. Amen? Master what it is that you do. Isn't it that you, you present at work? You, pre- you can't just all the time, man, say you're all over the place. You have to ma- and you have to enjoy it. You, you, you have to present to the smiley ones. Say, I'm from the I'm because the Bible says in Genesis 1, God said to himself, this is good. What I'm doing here is, is very good. Somebody say amen. You have to enjoy. You see, when we are at work, we must enjoy what we do. It says a passionate person, when done, he completes what he does. Passion. Where is your passion? You are now going for a salary. They say people die from the neck upwards when they reach the age 25. It's just that they don't know. They wait for their burial day. But they can die for 30 years before they are buried. Meaning they die to have vision. They die from, you know, expecting better things in life. They just, they're existing. What happens will happen. If I have this, I'll have it. No, you have to be intentional. Tintu Mike say, you must be intentional. You don't like my sermon, eh? You don't like my sermon, eh? No, this one. Yes. 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 Creates wealth for us. Please, uh, you've been tracking. Hamanam Nagule. Malachi 3, verse 10. Malachi 3, verse 10. But even if you're a church dropout, Malachi 3, verse 10. Korele no utsu ilor. Muruti maraka bala madaya 3. Malachi 3, verse 10. Malachi abano. Malachi ya. Come match. Malachi 3, verse 10. We would be about this uh, funny thing. A story I hate. Of a, 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 I think a preacher or someone said, Abraham killed Goliath with a stone. He took a stone and he killed Goliath. Then the other one said, Next, not Abraham, Moses. I don't know, I'm a, dro- I'm a church dropout, but it's Moses. If you miss a joke, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do for, for you. I really don't. So Malachi 310 bring ye the tithe. Now so you 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 kichaki leka sandeya rom say hey chaki leka yona right kyona right kyona right bring ye all the tithe. Tithe means ten percent of your income. He says, bring ye the tithe into the storehouse. So the house of God is called the storehouse. That there may be resources. In the house of the Lord. Then he says, prove me herewith, says the Lord, 
if I will not open the windows of heaven. That's my one man. So it says here, um, pr- that they may be meat, meaning resources. Somebody shout resources. resources. Somebody shout resources. resources. Somebody shout resources. Yes, that's more like it. So when we talk about church resources, eh, we are not talking only about a keyboard, a piano, a drums, guitar, TV, uh, this place, the, the, the lights, the fan, the sound system, you know, the water, electricity, the building. That is also part of things we use in the house of God. But I want to say this, and I'm even normal, especially in this church, that part of the money that comes as we tithe is to pay workers in the house of God. Yes, it's to pay, and we must normalize it, is to pay those who work in the house of the Lord. A big portion of uh, uh, the tithe is to do that. Because we, the, as I'm preaching here, I'm working for the church, and I'm working for God. Yes, yes, yes. It's, it's, it doesn't fall from heaven. God, the money, uh, the, one day my son asked, he said, he asked me, what do you do? I said, I'm a pastor. Then he said, then, so how do you get paid? I said, God gives me, he said, no, 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 Baba, how do you get paid? Like, I said, God gives me the money. He said, Baba, please, don't, don't play games. How do you get the money? I said, no, the church has employed me, then they pay me. The, then he said, okay, okay. Now I hear what you're trying to say. Is it okay, Baba? So it needs to be understood and clear. And I'm not the only worker in the house of, of the, the Lord. There are many people who are helping me here in particular for us to take the gospel forward. To take it forward. Because, you know, you can come from a church. Thank God for the history of churches we come from. You could come from Anglican. You could come from Roman Catholic. You could come from AME. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. You could come from anywhere. And, and these are powerful, great churches. So the thing about it is that you, the church that you don't actually know who to your Some missionaries build it. Some people somewhere gave with the, the money. So now we inherit what we don't know how it came about. So to take it forward, we don't know because we never learn giving and tithing in the house of God. So when you come in these type of our churches, like you just get confronted and say, we give. And, and, and are you with me, Bazan? So we have to learn it. And that's what will take us forward. That's what will take us forward. And we will normalize talking about it. It's, yes, 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 yes. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Tim Tumak and say, it will be normal. It will be normal. It will, we will no longer have heart, heart palpitations. We will not. No, we will not. See, normalize what we are sonda. Normalize what we are sonda. No, what we are sonda. No, what we are sonda. Amen. 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 So Yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. There are things that I've been There are things that I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of things. I've been doing a negative. I've been doing a lot of things. 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 
I want to do corner, man. So, Lobabalo, Anga Sontinati, Unkoska Zwaka Sontinati, then Basset Exini during the week by M7Z, Exin, Kiwachi Mistin. Baba Kiwani takes it, takes it, Lulelang as a Sontin. Omuni Muntu Pagatal Etexin, Avela comment at it. Oh, none less on the name, Fundiswala, Agaidi Mali, come cake. As a Gazano. No, 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 Muntu. But we land on a man, a map again, I'm sure. Hey, Lord. So, I should And then, this land that I know, Sister Santa and I know, land that I know, 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 yeah, it takes my figure to miss things. Since I could look, my bad figure. Please, because I bring an echo. I'm just a story. I'm going to see where I move. One my bad figure to miss things. Oh, no put one. No put on a Sunday night. I'm going to a Sunday night. One light alone. I'm going to put my cool. I'm I'm not saying it's right. Ni kogela story. Can be done. Nancy Malakia and prove that they may be one light and a mind or Puma Mazin. True, no one person is my witness. Puma Mazin Yolomuntu, Wayobo Pisa Lobaba, Emma Puisin. How we found out the story, Lo Mama. Umgalo Baba, Lomama Sontanai, Agas with Gonzagalin, Loput Zangam Chet. So Imali, Lebeganing as a Lomama, Yabai Logi by Nani by Nani. Lomama, what he, why was Sang Nigimali, a Pele Lagonzagalan, Lobabanga Kulum. Finally, Beza Lison to him for a cancelling, we were cancel of a Pasel in a fan. Mama Kulum, a Loput or Kulmi story, they would Gatagate, Nasha Yumun to a Texini. So So All right, secret agent could take So it says that there may be resources in the house of the Lord. Then he says, the Bible talks about tithing. We must give 10% of our king income. It says that I will not open the windows of heaven. He says, I want to open the windows of heaven. Please go up. The windows, underline windows. I want to tell you a story. Yes. Because I told the 8 o'clock group, I need to tell you a story as well. And, and my in-laws are here, and I'm telling you the story while they're here. So, there, uh, 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 where I stay in my house. <laughs> in the bathroom, we have a window. You know, bathroom windows, they are frosted. Fro Frosted. They are teaching me this karma. Menangaz a player, but ah, ah, when I'm doing frosted. Right? I was as a super figgy. So then, there, my bathroom window is not. So it's very clear. If you are outside, you can see inside. Ganja lo ganja. So then I thought about it. It's you. Since I'm from Vagashena by my in laws, and then I first started Angaga Munis. So imagine, you say bathroom, oh, my God, I'm going to fire. Imagine, see a chonga, no? We are the chonga, and I'm chonga. I'm going to pack a chonga, and I'm going to pack a chonga. 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 I will open the windows. The windows are high. The castle be frosted when you tithe. 
how tight how so tight the the first era sa modimo di player ha ko re ha ha e fitla tseleteng o ta sokola e be up to are a seza wena no tip ko ntsa o tsongana o za bangale wena o ngale some people here the husband doesn't tithe is the wife who tithe in some places a wife tithe the husband doesn't tithe tithe is a personal thing you must tithe from your own income and give to the lord sometimes when we counsel people uhlala nabantu phantsi uqala ukhuluma nabo when they are having financial difficulty the first thing you must ask them do you tithe yeah mo buza umuntu oh i am putting to into a personal hand how ya doctor wa o hlobodisa apola hona le doctor wa motoko sa mo la o tswere la o tswere ke lino o kala ra hlobola o ra tare ra ra tsale vela a o lo are yes go down and i will pour to you out a blessing somebody somebody shout blessing yeah i i will pour out a blessing and you won't have room enough to receive proverbs 10 verse 22 proverbs 10 verse 22 this is how we are going to build the house of god through tithe and offering the tithe are also going to be used to build the tithe are also going to be used to build the house of god amen so we must give our tithe if you ask me how pastor are we quickly going to build this house we then tithe if 100% of the church tithe just in one month you will be shocked what we can achieve like three months must not decide that we tithe like we give 10% of our income you will see how much we can achieve it proverbs 10 verse 22 the blessing of the lord it maketh rich and it adds no sorrow the blessing of the lord some say the blessing note the blessing is not riches because if they said the blessing maketh rich you see so you can't say the rich make rich so there's what we call a blessing and then that blessing aibonakali it's like uqoke ingubo spiritually speaking engabonakali eyenza izinto ezibonakalayo senzeke so the minute you tithe and give the blessing begins to come upon your life it maketh rich and it adds no sorrow i want to give you this verse hosea chapter number 2 verse number 8 omo it ama verse nga ama verse nga yeah yeah se se sontweni se se sontweni se sontweni ku bona ama verse hosea 2 Verse number 8. I see. So, let me give you a background of this book. God talks to a prophet, Hosea. Uti your wife has been promiscuous because I was teaching you a lesson as a prophet how the nation was dealing with me as God, how the nation was not faithful. that even though that I'm their lover they keep going to others to Baal and all of that ne? so now god then says in hosea uh, 2 verse 8 uti when she said she he speaks of the nation are for she did not know that i gave her corn the lord gives corn which is grain which is bread which is how you get pap he says i give you corn eh? to all the sons and daughters of noah the lord also gives wine if you don't know what i'm talking about let me explain how many of you know noah e by bilini phaka mrs sand yes this and mas noah thing pam sa sand mo wa zu noah e by bilini yes this sand u noah you know kweza uza mqolo makaqeda imvula me makuqulu iqolo ukuthi eh was genan wababiza bonke noa getinge wabakhelinga nawe wathi mvuli yeza ongena noa ne 
So you, you can criticize Unowa, ne? Mara, are you aware he saved the world by obeying God? A guy who used to drink wine is the same guy God used to. You see, God, your servants is anomalous and perfect. I will not. Bona bana ba no ba ba tabile zwang. Hallelujah, pelotsarona di tabile kauf. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, pelotsarona. Because Abraham, So I multiplied her silver and her gold, which they prepared for Baal. So God says, I blessed them, I gave them food, I gave them wine, and then they gave it to Baal. Some charismatics, they don't like me because I'm, I'm, I'm telling the truth, which is what the Bible says. Amen? Note, underline I gave them. God gave these things. When God blessed us, Donald, when God blessed us, we don't take that, give it to some strange God somewhere. Amen? God wants you to enjoy your money. He doesn't want you to take all your money and give it to church. No. You must enjoy your money. You must eat your... You must be so stingy. You must be ice cream ice cream. Show, I blew it. I blew it. We save it for 30 years. I'm strong with you. Because it's a Bible that a blessed man make a, uh, leaves an inheritance for his children's children. Some say amen. Eh? Then, over and above that, first of all, the Bible talks about first fruits. First. Because first governs the rest. First governs the rest. Le oyenza kala, it determines who to enza and with the rest. So if you learn to tithe and give first, then it governs the rest. You see, if you live a life of tithing, you live a disciplined life. Because to tithe, you must think about your money. And you must budget and plan. Because you can't just tithing, I finally offering my dula. So if you five rand is the only money you have, please give with it. But I'm talking about with when we we must not give God in the Old Testament, but Oscar like a home a kulang, we pull we pull fifty rand. Fifteen rand. Just to two listen numbers. You must give. And a giving must all it must be an act of worship. Meaning, as you give, Konala Ubona I can't afford to give, but because I have to learn to trust God as I give, I'm exercising my faith. Last verse I give you, and then we close. Nehemiah chapter 4 from verse 1. Nehemiah chapter 4 from verse 1. 
This is going to take us forward. Amen. Yeah. And I have learned in life, things that will take us forward are the very things that the enemy doesn't want us to talk about. What I am seeing in my life is the fruit of praying and the Lord being good and tithing over the years. As I tithe and give to the Lord. As I walk with the Lord, I begin to see God taking care of me. Because I myself tithe. I tithe. You know? So, amen. Amen. I don't get blessed because of I, I get blessed because I'm, I do the weight. Some people don't do the weight. They, they are not doers of the weight. They are not doers of the weight. If the sermon and I'm saying, you have to do the weight. You have to do the weight. You have Gushutin Shumela is someone right. You and the phone, you someone is a visa pambi. In the Sana Pambi, we want to move funda for the exam. You are uber uncomfortable. Mara Yule Gisa Pambi. Okay, I won't take time here. So it says there were buildings. Some say there were building. So as they were building, now came San Balat, which is someone who came to mock them. He came to mock the Jews and ridicule them. Dala abantu batandugu sugelana. That's why abantu batu nasaba tulipulo bar skanshaba wanyata. Ntoka sakopana. Skanshaba wanyata. Because Kenya tu anala impilo ina. Amen. And never be moved ahead of time because ufunu prove elabanti point. What about Mzimela was a, was a Tewin who's going to be with the Lord? What? Unga logu tu prove elabanti point. Wabanana point to a prover banga ibon. People are too absorbed in their world to know about you. Even when you are worried, you are not going to be able to do it. You are not minding their business. But people are in trouble, but they are stressed. You are not going to be able to do it. Don't try to prove a point. Do it in the next cut. By the grace of. Let me leave that. I was going to say something. Next verse. He spake before his brethren many army, the army of Samaria. He says, what are these feeble Jews doing? That's a mockery term. But they are building a wall. Yes, one Benzan Labant, Motu Abason de Labour confronted Ukulma Nova Note Benzan Labant. At a school now, Sikuluma Sikuluman achieves Ugut Yenzan Yenzan achieves Mara. Pega, I want you to see the four things they are going to make mention. I'm going to finish them, uh, Emma Viginazan. Pega, number one, it says, they ask these four questions Will they fortify themselves? One. Number two. Will they sacrifice? That's number two. Number three. Will they make an end of what they are doing in a day? That's number three. Number four. Will they revive the stones? So there are four things. The enemy knows these four things are powerful. These four things are powerful. One. Will you fortify? Two. Will you sacrifice? Three. Will you finish? And four. Will you revive? The enemy knows these four things. If you do them in your career, if you do them as a church, if you do them in your walk with the Lord, you're going to go forward. These four things. What? Fortify. Which means strengthen. Some say strengthen. Angelizwa. Strengthen. Loudly. Strengthen. Louder. Strengthen. That's it. So, you are going to more strengthen as someone, something, more pinda pinda a rope. Ulo we uti clean, maybe tight. So will they strengthen themselves? Church, zombie, we need to strengthen ourselves 
and one e e e lona. But in a three court what what is not easy to but in Lamanba couldn't be as powerful as a philosophical umpatle wheels as well as influence. Where all of these powerful but in but in but in a three threaded cord is not easily broken. A three threaded cord is not easily broken. For a Zulu guy, it takes a real prayer to say a lot of R in one sentence, and then your tongue doesn't get hurt. Say it again. A three threaded cord. A three threaded cord. Okay. A three threaded cord is not easily broken. A three threaded cord is not easily broken. A, th- a three let let it. <laughs> All right, sorry guys, sorry. So when Z three, that's what they are saying, guys. That's all they are saying. It's not easy to break. So the more we become united, the stronger we become. Don't be an island. Say, yeah, give God praise. Is what. Satan's goal is to isolate you. The madman from Gadara, Mark 5, don't open it. Bega hamba, I won. Oscar Sulauli won, even if you say I'm a loner. Can I have someone? God said in the beginning, it is not good for a man to be alone. You must always stay together. Be part of a home cell, a connect group. Be part of other Abanyamantuan. Mapumison to Natahupu Muhammad. Kulmana says I was Ganjan. How Pella as a Kaila, Masiko Racist, Tina Masiti Amen Law and a Sopomanga Kate, then I said, Haba, 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 Anyway, <laughs> so you need to come together. You need to come together. You need to come together. You need to you need to come together. You need to you need to learn to learn to learn to learn to learn it's very wrong. So I post a my my family is what what. You see, that's why I mentioned what we want. Make it, yes, yes, yes. 45. Number two. Will they sacrifice? Sacrifice. You know that, that old song. Sacrifice. Sacrifice, sacrifice, oh. sacrifice. Meaning, us niche as nizint, ubegele as When we have to build as a church, we'll have to put aside certain things. Like we can enjoy our money, but it will take a lot of money to do what we must do. So we need to sacrifice for you to be educated. You can't enjoy a. Abo asen asenal nati singa stina singa fund. And the sad thing about mo funda, ugu te abanye buyers enjoy el. Tola si sale la si se enjoy el. Wena uno gupisi photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process of what what what. This the what what what. Tala na zaku la gule of photosynthesis. It begins now in Amsans. It it jumps now. Sacrifice. Take time aside. Learn a skill you need to learn. Grow in your career. So as a church, let's sacrifice. Let's put certain money aside over above our tithe. Let's take the money aside and say, you know, if the still structure here will cost us two million to put it up. Then, then, then in three months, man, we must just do that thing quick and, and put it aside and move on. The building that stands there, we did it in three months without a loan, without borrowing money from anyone from anywhere. Yes. From the time I became full-time, 
to say to serve God, I realize there's no money that I will find anywhere. No person will give me money from outside the church to do the work of God. Then I realize there's, when I meet, if I have international friends, I don't meet with them to beg money. I don't go to Americans, to Euro- Europeans to beg money. No, 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 no. But God will raise money from this place. Then I live a life that I don't do debts. I don't do debts. I don't do debts for the church. We don't have debts as a church. As we stand, we don't have debts. We, we don't have debts. Yeah. The, 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 I'd rather take long to arrive, but I will get there without debts. Yes. Yes, I will. Oh, yes, I will. Oh, yes, I will. Yeah. In my personal life, I don't live by debts. I'd rather take long, take long. But to get there, I will get there by the grace of God. So, 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 sacrifice. Sacrifice. You see, the only debt that you must have in life is the one that will take you forward. Like a debt for a house, something that will take you forward. Okay, let me not make you uncomfortable. So, sacrifice. Some say sacrifice. Let's sacrifice, my son. The third one, I'm going to finish on the third one, and I'll finish the, the other day for other things. Will they finish in a day? Will they make an end in a day? The one who catches, he doesn't roast. Why he doesn't roast? He procrastinates. He keeps saying, I will do it next week. He keeps saying, I will do it the other week. He keeps saying, when I have time, when I have strength, when I have resources. He keeps complaining and saying, no one favors me. He keeps saying, There's no support. He keeps saying, oh, people don't like me. Sacrifice and finish in a day. Sometimes the reason why you don't go forward, you just become too dispensed in too many things. You you are there, you are there, you are there. You are trying to, to, to build a house. You are trying to what, what? You are trying to what, what? Just do one thing at a time and finish and move on to the next project. Uh, Multitasking sometimes is not effective. Uh, Other people are good at it, but see, finish in a day. Learn learn to finish. Like, I want to give you the very last verse of this chapter. Go chapter 4, the very last verse. Open the very last verse of that chapter. And hear what Nehemiah decided. He said, neither I nor my brothers or my servants, nor the men that God, which followed me, none of them put off their clothes, save everyone put them off for washing. So Nehemiah said, we didn't even have the leisure of changing clothes up until we finished the wall. He said, myself and the men we were working with and the men that followed me, he said, there we were, if we were in the night, we were in the night, we were in Someone suggested, what? no, father, if you need a cup, we were in the night, we were in the night, so we were in the night. No, that's what someone was just suggesting. We were in the night, we were in the and in a smell and it's acidic. Don't quote me on this one. Nehemiah said we didn't wash our clothes or we didn't change clothes except when we needed to wash them off. That means that's how focused we were. That's how determined we were. That's why we were one-minded to say, this is what we are going to do. Kaya Family Church, God wants to take us into uncharted territories, to places that we have never been before, to do things that we have never done before. It's going to take us to sacrifice. It's going to take us to tithe. It's going to take us to finish. It's going to take us to have a mindset that says, if it's not done, we are not going to enjoy ourselves. For a moment and for a time, because we need to build. 
there's something we are about. You see, when you read that chapter, they ca- kept calling Nehemiah. Oh, so Nehemiah. Oh, so Svagasel. Oh, so Svagasel. Nehemiah said, why should I come down seeing that I'm doing something great for the Lord? Let it be known that you have a focus. You are doing something, something, till you finish it. Finish that metric. Finish. 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 Finish that thing you registered. Since Uchimelo Emali, Ejim, Manj, Hambo Jimawena. This time around, as a church, let's determine ourselves to finish. Let's determine ourselves we are going to take the money God has given. Yes. 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 And we're going to do it for our God. Do you receive this word here today? Are you blessed by this word here today? No, I'm asking you a question. Are you blessed by this word here today? Are you strengthened? Ask them, are you lit? Ask them, are you fresh? Ask them, are you blessed?